The way we, we came to Ukraine actually wasn't um, based on, on, a, on the country. It was not Ukraine first and then, and then let's see uh, who, who is in there. Um, it was more that we um, reached out over, over um, some guy we know um, to several near-shoring companies from our point of view. Um, some of them were in uh, Minsk, some of them were in Bulgaria, and some of them were, were here. You have the right guys, they are not machines um, which just will take your requirements um, and, and get the perfect code done. So you need to consider them as a part of your team, so it shouldn't actually make any difference if they are sitting here or at your office. You really need to invest some time and effort in creating a team. I mean, you need to do some team building, you need to, 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 to have an exchange with them on other topics. In our case, we, we started off with a um, senior guy uh, called Alexei and um, a junior guy called Sasha, by our terms. And what really um, made it work in the beginning is that um, here with Mobile Unity, we have a Western management in place, so the English level is, is very high, and that helps making the transition to Russian. Of course, what surprised me um, a lot is the level of professionalism we, we found here. Of course, we accepted some level before um, coming here, but um, it, it's actually very high. I was very surprised of that. And on top of that, um, the recruiting process is, um, let's say, 10 times faster than in our market. So as a startup which needs to scale, um, yeah, it, it's quite of important to get the right people at the right time. And um, these are, this is a very big benefit for us. The difference between working um, locally with, with people and have them out or near, outsource or near short, is that if you really invest some time and, and in, in the team building that it doesn't make any big difference at all. I mean, um, our PO, Alex, started working with us a month ago and from my side of it feels very natural for him to, to work from Switzerland with, with all the people here. I mean, so far I think when, whenever you're talking about nearshoring, um, working with a remote team, one of the the main fears is the communication barrier. That's when I first started. I was, I was skeptical that um, that we could, you know, communicate and get things across efficiently. And that's really where I was, uh, I was a bit afraid. But but I think now I'm <laughs> completely changed, and I think I, I feel very close with our team. And, and even though we're miles uh, away from each other, I really feel like we're there. We're communicating. It's very transparent, and the teamwork works works very well. Yeah.